Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to the sharing model series. Today, we are diving into the concept of opportunity teams. Let's explore what it is and how you can leverage its benefit in your organization. So what is opportunity teams? Opportunity team allow multiple users to collaborate on a deal and they can be used for various purpose. A couple of this include suppose different user belong to different team like legal, finance, etc. wants to work on an opportunity. Then you can make use of opportunity teams to work them together. Another one can, can be high value opportunity required some expert to work on a deal so that they can able to help each other and close the deal easily or with their expertise. Then we can leverage the benefit of opportunity teams so that all the expert can work on a big deal. So those are couple of example where we can use opportunity teams. Now let me demonstrate how to leverage the benefit of teams in Salesforce. So let me log in into Salesforce. Okay, I have already logged in into Salesforce. So first and foremost, we need to enable opportunity teams. So you click on this gear icon and from there click on setup and you will navigate to setup homepage. Now from quick find box, you need to type opportunity teams. At first, this opportunity team setting will not be enabled for you. You need to enable it manually. So when you come to this particular page, it will look something like this. So it will look like enable team selling. Team selling setup underneath that enable team selling. And when you click on this particular checkbox and click on save, then opportunity team will enable in your org. Once opportunity team enabled in your org, then in the opportunity, opportunity you will able to see the team in the related list. So from here you can add team members, you can able to see which member is working in which role, what type of access they have on this particular opportunity. So from this related list on this particular opportunity, you will able to understand who are, who are collaborating on this particular deal. Now, in this particular related list you will have two options that is one add default team and another one add opportunity team member so default team from where you will able to add the default team so you need to navigate to your user advanced user details so suppose I am already navigate to advanced user details. So from, from this user icon, you need to click on your my setting and you will land it to this particular page. And from here, you need to click on advanced user details and scroll a little bit down. You will able to see default opportunity teams. Now from here, you can able to add your own default team. Now, once you click on add a this page will open and from here you can add any user you want and you can provide them read only or read write access and you can select what 
team role you want for that particular user. In this particular page, you can select this both checkbox. What is the usage of this checkbox? So the first one, what it will do, whenever you create a new opportunity or any other opportunity transfer to you, it will automatically add the default team that you have created for yourself will be automatically added to those opportunity. Now, what is the usage of the second option? If you check the second option, then it will immediately update all your open opportunity with this team member that you have just selected and clicked on save. As of now, I am not creating any default team member for myself. I will do it manually. So let me uh, go here and I know that on this particular opportunity, I didn't add any team member. And one more thing to I want to add my OWD for this particular org for opportunity is private. Let me show you that. So you can see it is private. So no one will able to see each other's opportunity until and unless they are above in the role hierarchy or have system admin access. Okay, so now for this edge emergency generator, for this opportunity, no one have access except the owner. So let me show you that, yeah. Only one user have access on this particular opportunity. Now let me log in as some other different user. That is Sara. So I have logged in with Sara. Let me see whether she has access on that particular opportunity or not. Ideally, she should not have access because we have not shared it with her and the OWD of this org is private. So let me refresh this page and let's see that. So the page got refreshed and she doesn't have access on that particular opportunity. Now let me share that one. And one more thing to notice, uh, this particular opportunity belong to age communication account. So, in this particular account also, Sara do not have any access. Let me show you that. So, only one user have ac has access on this particular account. So, now let me add a team member on this particular opportunity. So, let me select like any team role and I will select Sara. I will provide her read write access and I will click on save. So I provided her read write access. Now let's see whether she got access or not. Okay, let me refresh this page. And bingo, she got access. So that is how we can share a particular opportunity with a user using opportunity teams. Now, as we provided her in this particular opportunity as read write access, by default, she will get access on the account that is edge communication so before providing her access on this particular opportunity i show you that she doesn't have access on this particular account but now 
she has access on this particular account and she able to view it okay let me show you whether she able to edit or not so i provided her access so let me click on change it to low and let me click on save she got an error message why because we shared that this particular account got shared as part of opportunity sharing so by default she will got read only access she will not able to get read write access on this particular account until and unless we share it with her so that is how this opportunity teams and account sharing is related with each other now if i remove her from this from this opportunity so what will happen to the account access let's see that so let me remove her from this particular opportunity and let's check whether she has whether she retained the access on this particular account or not let me refresh it and let's see that oops the access got removed so that is how it works when, till the point you have access on the opportunity you got read only access on the account when that particular opportunity access got revoked the account access will also got revoked that is how this works uh, with owd as private for both account and opp opportunity okay now let me add her again and let me show you some back end object that plays a role major role on sharing this particular opportunity via via opportunity team to any user so i selected read write access and i click on save she again got access on this account okay uh, let me first delete it and show you the back end data and then i will again provide her access and show you what is happening so if i i removed the access from this edge emergency emergency generator and i query opportunity team member this particular object where opportunity id is that particular id we are able to see there is no one in the team member so we didn't get any record for this particular opportunity now let's see opportunity share record in the opportunity shared record what is coming let me export it so only one user have access now let me add sara on this particular opportunity and let's see what is happening in the back end okay let me again export it and see will a we got one record on this particular opportunity as team member because we have added that one so naturally we got one record on opportunity team member now it will create one more record in opportunity share object so that it, it is visible to sara so as of now only one record is there let me export it and i got one another so here in this particular opportunity sara got access and via what that is the that is the row cause field that will told us via what sara got access so via team she got access and what is the access level that is read write so that is how the back end object plays role in sharing model so that is how we'll able to share it if you want to share this particular 
record means opportunity record via team member you can very well do with the apex class or some flow via this opportunity team member object in the opportunity team member if you create a record and insert it on this particular object then they will get the access if you don't want to do it from the front end now there is one more feature on this particular opportunity team related list that is suppose i have added only one user but there are suppose 10 user and you want to know which user have what access for some uh, some user is not able to edit a particular opportunity and she requested that why i am not able to edit it why it is not editable for me so then you need to check what access she has on this opportunity so that you will able to check from team member access if you click on this one whosoever have access as a team member on this particular opportunity it will it will display all the username what is the team role they are playing on this particular deal and what is the access level they have so if they have read only access then you will able to see here read only if they have read write then you will able to see read write here okay now going to an, a different feature that is provided via opportunity now suppose i am working in a very sensitive deal and i don't want to share it with anyone okay uh, or i don't want that uh, suppose I have shared it, it is shared with a particular user uh, and she has access, but I don't her to share it with anyone. Then I can check this private checkbox. So if I check this private checkbox, then what will happen in the opportunity team related list? We will not able to get add team member or add default team those option as well as from the sharing also we will not able to get the sharing button so it can't be manually share as well so if this particular private checkbox is checked we cannot share it with anyone else now if i remove this private checkbox then you will able to see i can get both the option in this particular record let me show you that so i remove the private checkbox and then I'm able to see sharing button as well as from related list I'm able to see add default team member and add opportunity team member okay so who can able to add edit or remove team member from a particular opportunity user those who have read access on user edit access on opportunity and is opportunity owner or higher in the role hierarchy or anyone who is system admin they can able to add team member or they can able to add team member or they can remove it or they can edit it so that is regarding like how we can able to uh, share an opportunity via opportunity team but before closing this video i want to show you one more thing that is implicit child what does implicit child mean so suppose this is my particular opportunity one of the opportunity and this is my account now i provided access on this particular account to sara okay so if i click on edit i will able to see Sa sara i give him read access read only access on account and also in opportunity i provided her read only access okay now if you navigate to this particular opportunity here if you click on sharing you will not able to see sara listed on this particular 
list. But if I log in with Sara, so I logged in with her and I click and I refresh all opportunity. And let's see whether she has access or not. I she has access on that one. So though in the back end, uh, so if I click on this one, that is Gen Jenny Point Lab Generators. She has access on that one and she able to view it very well. But if I try to export it, I will only see only one user have access on this particular opportunity in the opportunity share record so that is what implicit share me implicit child means so implicit child is nothing but when you sh provide a particular user access to account and via account team you provided her or him opportunity access in the backend opportunity share record it will not create a particular row rather on the runtime it will um, salesforce will um, salesforce will calculate whether she has she or he has access or not and based on that it will show you that particular opportunity record so that is how implicit child works so Yes, that is all today for Opportunity Team. Hope you got some new information or you will able to refresh your memory on Opportunity Team. Uh, if you need videos on some specific topic, please do let me know on the comment section. I will try to create those video. And thank you so much for watching this video. So stay tuned for next video. Thank you.